Hey everybody, welcome back to Fluency. We're on story number 15 in our mini mystery series with Sam Sherlock and his dog Watson. Um, I bet you notice in the title of this one, Phony, P-H-O-N-Y, and it might remind you of phone, like telephone, but it doesn't mean that at all. In this one, phony means fake. Um, so not real or um, yes, fake or not real. So we're going to start off with some fluency practice. We're going to start with echo reading. Remember echo meaning, reading means you reading right after me, trying to have your voice echo or sound like mine. I'm going to pay close attention to the punctuation because we know that that's how the author wants us to change our voice. And by changing our voice, that means we're understanding what, what the author wants us to understand out of the story. Okay, we're gonna pause just slightly at commas. We're gonna pause just a little bit longer at periods. We're gonna make our voices sound exciting if we see an exclamation point. And we're gonna make our, our voices sound like a question mark if we see a question mark. I also um, fray, chunk and phrase words together, um, like uh, the sign says. The sign says goes together. That's in the second little paragraph. You'll see. You'll start to notice how I chunk words and phrases together. Okay, get ready. Look over at your partner. Give them a little wink or a smile because we're gonna get it, we're gonna start our echo reading. The case of the phony painting. Watson, Sam Sherlock's dog, was running behind him. Watson wanted to play because Sam had not taken him for a walk in the park for a long time. The sun was shining, birds were chirping, and children were everywhere. Artists were showing their paintings. There were many different booths set up so people passing by could see all the things that were for sale. Sam said, this way, Watson. Let's take a look at these. The sign says that these paintings are 100 years old. Mr. Wright, the art dealer, was saying to the people that were looking at the paintings, I do not paint myself. I collect great art. These were just found in an attic. They are 100 years old. This one was painted before we even had electricity. Sam looked carefully at the painting. The colors were nice. The picture was of a kitchen with a family sitting around the table.
On a small table in a corner of the room, Sam could see a toaster. Better not buy that painting, Sam said. It's a phony. How did Sam know? All right, awesome job, echo reading. Give yourself a little hug. We're gonna continue fluency practice by choral reading. Choral reading means you reading through another time with me. Get ready. The case of the phony painting. Watson, Sam Sherlock's dog, was running behind him. Watson wanted to play because Sam had not taken him for a walk in the park for a long time. The sun was shining, birds were chirping, and children were everywhere. Artists were showing their paintings. There were many different booths set up so people passing by could see all the things that were for sale. Sam said, this way, Watson, let's take a look at these. The sign says that these paintings are 100 years old. Mr. Wright, the art dealer, was saying to the people that were looking at the paintings, I do not paint myself. I collect great art. These were just found in an attic. They are 100 years old. This one was painted before we even had electricity. Sam looked carefully at the painting. The colors were nice. The picture was of a kitchen with the family sitting around the table. On a small table in a corner of the room, Sam could see a toaster. Better not buy that painting, Sam said. It's a phony. How did Sam know? Good job, uh, choral reading. Now we're gonna go back and be reading detectives, just as Sam is a mystery detective, and look for clues about how Sam knew that the painting was a phony. Now remember, when you're working on these questions, you can pause it to discuss with your partner. Okay, get ready. How did Sam know the painting was a phony. Where does this story take place? What kind of day was it? did the art dealer say to the people who were looking at the paintings? What room was painted by the artist whose painting the dealer was showing? Was the art dealer the only person with a booth in the area? Was the art dealer dishonest? Does the story tell whether he bought the painting? Is the art dealer's name given in the story? What things that are in a kitchen work by electricity?
name two things that could have been on a kitchen table a hundred years ago. Alrighty, let's go back to our fluency. Good job thinking and being reading detectives. Um, now what I'd like you to do is look over at your partner, give them a little pinky high five. You are going to read the case of the phony painting two more times. In a moment, you're gonna turn your back on your partner and you're gonna whisper read it to yourself. And then you're gonna turn back to your partner, you're gonna read it out loud to them, and then you're gonna to listen to them read it out loud to you. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your day. See you next week.